Hi, Michael Brown back again with another lesson for you in Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. This is the Grinder basic lesson in setting your Photoshop CS6 preferences. Don't touch that dial. You got to do it. You only got to do it once. So let's grind on through it. All right. If you're on a Mac, under the Photoshop drop down menu, go to Preferences and General. If you're on a PC, go to the Edit menu. All the way to the bottom, you'll find your Preferences. And let's go to General. All right, we'll start at the top and work our way down. Uh, default is the Adobe Color Picker. It's a beauty. Leave it. HUD, that's Heads Up Display Color Picker, which is used for uh, tools and setting your foreground background colors. It defaults at the huge hue strip small. Leave it there. It's fine. Image interpolation. This is new in Photoshop CS6 for those of you who work in previous versions. We used to have Bicubic Smoother and Sharper. The other three are not as good. Bicubic Smoother is usually used when you're enlarging an image, which means you're opening up space between pixels, better to smooth the edges or sharper when you're reducing and throwing away pixels to sharpen it back up. You used to have to pick A or B. Now, Bicubic Automatic will automatically sense whether you are enlarging or reducing and pick the appropriate one for that. Now, you also have the option, I personally like Bicubic Sharper all the time. I'm going to set it there, but for those of you who are learning this and may not have a preference, Bicubic Automatic as the default works just fine. All right, let's get down this list of options. These are the ones that are by default check. Auto update open documents. That's only if you're working in a network business where multiple people have access to your file and are not on your computer. That way, if someone else works on it, it auto updates it. If you don't need that, don't check it. I prefer not to anyway. Beep when done. If you want to hear the beep all day, be my guest. Dynamic color sliders, that's fine. Export clipboard allows you to export the clipboard with something you copied from Photoshop and then pasting it into another document in another piece of software. Good idea to leave that up there. Use the shift key for the tool switch. Yes, and let me show you what that is. That means if I have a tool that has sub-tools, and in this case, the shortcut for this tool is J, and I hold my Shift key down and hit the letter J, notice in the tool bar, the highlighted tool is actually changing as I click and hold the Shift key down. That's what that preference allows you to do. Very cool idea. A nice shortcut. So that was use Shift key for tool switch. Resize image during